Okay, now that we got to that. It's all been so hectic. I'm sure things will quiet down. There. It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. It can't be worse than the Nexus. Yeah. Ooh, emails. To writer from doctor. Blah blah blah. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. I don't really care. Yeah, cool. I acknowledge their emails over there. Probably not gonna do the thing. Let's talk to you, Subi. Scans of the scourge, all that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. It, it looks dangerous. It's dangerous, and that's all I see. A mass of destructive, yeah. malevolent tentacles. Yeah, no fun here. I can appreciate the colors of a coral snake while recognizing that I wouldn't want to get close. Mm -hmm. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the scourge and the remnant vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not divine. All right. There's nothing about the universe that suggests a divine intelligence. Oh, snap. And most of what we've seen in Helios is artificial, as you said yourself. Yeah, straight up. Yes, but we're creative beings. Whoever made the remnant was, too. Why should that be proof against God? Wouldn't a true creator want to pass on the drive to invent? Then why bother? I'm gonna, I'm gonna push this. Yeah, I'm gonna be a if dick. If everything was set in place by some mysterious creator, why even be a scientist? If I have reverence for a creator, how could I not want to study their creation? Fair my point. faith does it's not hinder point. my work as a scientist. It encourages it. Fascinating. My senses tell me what the world is. Science shows me how it came to be. And religion tells me why. You can tell yourself that. I don't care if I'm offended. Science and religion have always been at odds. No amount of rationalization is going to change that. Dang, what a Shall we jerk. Agree to disagree? Our beliefs are clearly incompatible. Clearly. Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest report. Yeah, that's right. We'll talk yeah. later. Get an attitude with me. See what happens. I ain't even trying to be friends with you. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding More to talk about, huh? how big it is. Yeah, sure. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? Could go deep in the earth. With what yeah, it has to do, it could go thousands of miles below the surface of the planet. Or completely span it. An underground network. That would be crazy, wouldn't it? Just a thought. Oh my or god! I wouldn't even know. That'd be so insane, Suvi. Sizing how it all works. The remnant builders, whoever, whatever they were, accomplished something far beyond us. Yeah, I don't really care about any of this. So I should get back to things. Peace. Yeah. Let's just get these little introduction things out the way. I don't need to get to know you. I'm hard nosed. I don't care. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector. That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? You said you designed it, huh? You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest? Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Almost. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. <laughs> I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. Big step. I'd have done the same. Big step for one ship. I like the Tempest, but I'm not sure I'd travel between galaxies for her. Oh, I'm such a the jerk, Echo man. The had its charms, too. It's just strange not having the rest of the design team. That would be strange. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations, tapping on the console. Three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Salarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. That can be handy. Though I suppose with the Salarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. We'll find them. Pfft, I'm not gonna... Pfft, I'm not gonna... I don't care. <laughs> Cheer up, Kalo. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to <laughs> find the others. Ah. I should get back to it. I appreciate but that thank comment. you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Yes. Sure, why not? 
Anything new to say? What can I do for you? Ah, I don't care. I'll let you. You know. You know we got time for that. Wait, can I talk to someone in here? Or what's going on here? Loadout station. Okay, got that done. Now, do I have to activate this thing before I can leave? Like, oh, okay, I was wondering it won't let, let me out of here. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the next. Personal project, this eh? This nice out of the way place where I can tinker and I can sleep anywhere. Mm. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, that's too bad, oh, but I guess. I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. I'm not sticking around. Should I consider you a temporary addition? Everything's temporary, Ryder. I get it. Oh, okay. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Sure. Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana to simple but loving parents just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Huh. Why snooze through my life story? Maybe I want to get to know you. Get to know huh? me out in the field while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. Oh, okay. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Boredom drove you here? <laughs> you left everything and everyone you knew because you were bored? No. I came with someone I knew. Oh. And she got bored with me. <laughs> Ryder... That's, that's kind of so sad. I'm I'm already bored of you though, so if you could just Even stop if talking. I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, I'm about that to start I live for the unknown, for the never been done. That's all I need to know. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes, I'm number one. Mm, yes, you are. Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth? Of course. Then again. I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring you what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. Should just slap her around a little bit, make her tell me what I want to know. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? No, I don't actually. Thanks. Don't care. Sorry. I know I'm probably supposed to since you're my crew and all, but nah. Open. Go down the ladder. Where do you say? Wait, so Drax in the freaking. The kitchen, right? Or something like that. Not exactly sure what that is. So let's just start here and go from there. This way. Pathfinder Rider to Engineering. Repeat, Rider to Engineering. <laughs> Giggle about it, why don't you? Really? Pathfinder, help me with something. Oh my god, the couch, seriously? Oh, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Oh my gosh. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omni Blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Did that sound like Right, right. What? Never mind. BS for the requisition. Oh. So, finally time for that beer? Mm. And after two what? years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. I don't recall saying Being yes, but okay. Fit. The crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Uh... Uh... Dude, I don't think about that time, I guess. I put it behind me after Dad's work went sour. It was a long time ago. Yeah, I'm not opening up to you, boy. Years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? Why are you so nosy? That blunt, huh? That blunt. I needed to leave that life. Opportunity. Love of science. Well. I. Uh. I need to leave it. I was on a good path in the Alliance. Then everything fell apart. There wasn't much left for me. Yeah. Andromeda was so far away, I figured... Well, I figured if you're going to start over, start way over. Like way, way over. Gotcha. 
Clean slate. Classic. It is. Back at you, Costa. Why do you come? I Ooh. want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. No, it wouldn't. It'd be boring. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job. Nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and... Oh, I that's... In it. That's so cute. I believe in a new beginning. It's Still adorable. Do. I have to. We're in it. We could change direction. It puts pressure on all of us. What? I don't... I don't know what either. I don't care. This one. If it all goes wrong, it could feel like we left for no reason. I know why I'm here. A bad start can't change that. I won't let it. In Christ's no. response, I'd focus on essentials. That's you and this team. Pathfinder leads to planets, leads to people. You've got your part covered. You've got this. I'll do my damnedest to help with the rest. Oh, that's so nice of you. I appreciate that, buddy. My gosh, that's over. This bonding thing was not... As interesting to me as I'm sure you were hoping it would be. Podromos. Prodromos. No. Sounds good, doesn't it? No. We started Pathfinder. A new life. That is goddamn brilliant. Yeah, I'm not in, I don't yeah, shut up. We'll talk late. Wow, you can be really direct about being it. with them pretty early, apparently. Dang. But uh Felicity ain't gonna get distracted by it. no man or woman or anything else. She ain't interested in that type of life. She's business and business only. We're here to do a job, and that's it. So don't try to get in my way, boy. All right, who's next? Cora. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. Oh, you. The Pathfinder's there. Let me say hi. Who are you? Fine, but don't embarrass me. Embarrass her. This is Sid, my sister. Sid Ryder. Am I interrupting? I don't really care. Hope I'm not interrupting something important. Not at all. We were just finishing up. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... Oh, hung up on. Snap. So I, I know it, it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. I love one. Now's as good a time as any. I think... No. I know that I can be of use here. I know everyone on the crew. Even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Interesting. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. They better be. We've been be. for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Ah, oh, you're so sweet. Uh, and you're good with guns, that's all I care about. Ability to haggle with the locals? Great. But please tell me you're also good in a fight. That's all that matters. Like I said before, Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. I do what I have to. Alright, I respect it. We all it. have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. I'm sure we are. <laughs> well, I mean, down I'm never going to die, Because I'm perfect. Because, you know. Alright, get to work. We'll chat later. I guess so. Good to have you aboard or whatever. You have no freaking choice in the matter. Everybody just joins my crew like I have a say. I'd say I wanted you here. But welcome aboard, I guess. Terraforming, Atmo processors, gravity wells, life destroying murder bubbles. I know, fun, right? <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> Someone had to know. Maybe they just didn't tell us. Oh, yeah, let's get did suspicious. You I'm not sure. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. Uh, I always have a plan. Um, but that seems too sentimental, so. Like you said, we had no idea what Helios was really like. What good's a plan? Adapting to problems as they come up. I like that. Yeah. Good, since you're probably gonna have front row seats to me winging it. Looking forward to the show. Alright, peace out. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. I don't need to know anything about you. Know you know where to find me. Yeah, I do. I won't be heading there anytime soon. Because <laughs> I don't want to find you. I <laughs> get it. Alright. I walk very weird, but um, let's see. Oh, yeah, you could just do a little ladder. Why is there ladders, but then there's also like an elevator? I mean, that's cool because they add that. And it's like, oh, yeah, there's like multiple ways to get through the ship. That would make sense. But it's just kind of funny to me. It's like, why would you ever use one over the other? Why not just... Nah, who cares? Oh, hey, guy. Pathfinder, making the rounds. Yes. Slumming it, huh? Want to see how the riffraff are making out? Ha, <laughs> someone has to. Hey, it's a dirty job. Are you the riffraff spokesman? King, actually. 
You might want to bow. Otherwise, no telling what might fall off the nomad when you're out there. Uh -huh. I'll take my chances. Oh. Just want to see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For oh, now. So you have to actually. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? You have to go back and Locked forth. Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. It's interesting. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. I doubt you were the only one. Yes, but it's a new thing for um, me. Regret. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Right. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and oops. Who hoops a daisy? No turning back from. I know, right? When's my I'm brother gonna, gonna wake up? Seriously. That that freaking punk. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. Man, I can like flirt with literally everybody. I'll help you find purpose. No, man, this one, I guess. You mean how jazzed you were that a Pathfinder showed up? Tomato, potato. You just but keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Sounds like a deal. deal. I wonder if you can make a character that's just straight up like a playa. Like Felicity 2.0, she just, she just gets intimate with everybody. Which is fine, you know, if that's what she's into. But not this Felicity. Not this one. She's dead serious at all times. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants. What do you helps me think? Something on your mind? <sighs> Maybe. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Whoa, over what here. What the hell was that? <sighs> I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. Oh really? I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? What? Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one before the initiative. What? Some things stick though, like losing the old man. How are you not? I don't care. I know it's not the same, but I'm a good listener. I hope you're as good at being Pathfinder. What? I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you. Yeah, because I'm the best. An untrained Pathfinder and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Uh. He's thinking, uh. I'm... Is this going to be a problem, Cora? Yeah, that's right. You better back I don't up. Arrival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. If you alive. keep that attitude, you're going to be then my maybe last. We'll all, get all right. What we came out here for. It won't be easy. Even if we get there, there's a mountain of hard work ahead. Working hard was never my problem. Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. Right, right. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission Jeez continues. Louise. So, I'm so much through. narrative and I'm skipping uh, like everything. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. Right. If you want to talk, I'll be here. Whoa, whoa. You got a little echoey weird there for a minute. All right, let's... Anything else? Or just the basic questions? Hi there. Yeah, I don't care. See you later, Cora. Peace. I'll be here. Wasting my time. All right, who's next? Did I check everything out? That's where I just came from, right? This room right here? Wow, takes a little bit to load up, huh? Yeah, I just came from there. That's the main. And this has no one in it for now. So I'm thinking I checked everywhere except for... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These little ones down here on the side. Well, the Tempest is a pretty nice area. I mean, it's definitely better than the Normandy, I guess, in terms of, like, what's in it. There's, like, more to it. Oh, crew info board, huh? Dinner tonight. Something. Coffee mug. Dragon PB. Yeah, moving a couch, whatever. Who cares? I'm sure a lot of you actually do. <laughs> oh, God, you. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided what a to spend wuss. his retirement years in the Hyperion looking after your brother. Big mistake. 
Oh. Joke's on him. Scott's a handful. Could have said. I think you're both trouble. Oh, good. Stand still. Yeah. Back talking like that again. I'm gonna smack you. Sorry. All right. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. Ah, they're both a little too nice, but sure. Being nervous means you understand what's at stake. That's the problem. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so oh, quickly. Stop whining. Focus on the path. Yeah, just it do it. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Yeah, see, there you go. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, what? Mm -hmm. A cat corpse. For autopsy, I'm, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Interesting. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you? I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. Oh, of course you are. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. Anatomist and a physician? Anatomist, physician? That's quite the resume. I could literally flirt with everybody you talk to on here. That's, I mean, that's cool that they give that option. Time to branch out. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan. Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats her vegetables. Oh, thanks, Doc. Not obvious at all. Where are you running to, huh? Where are you running off to, eh? Check out this data pad we got here. All right, whatever. Pretty sure I've already read that before. Anything new? Or is it gonna be the same old, same old? So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. Yeah. Okay. Peace. I'll let you get back to. I'll be here if you need me. Yeah. If I need you, whatever. I won't. Respect station. Cool. Yeah, you can respec once for free, I believe, and then after that it costs credits, and then each successive time it's more and more credits. Is this the kitchen? Uh, don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Roshan. Who were you talking to? Yeah, who were you talking to, huh? Cash, Nexus superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. We like trouble here. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Ha. I like the way you think, kid. Thanks, Gramps. Ugh. Someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Probably <laughs> Tam. Damn politicians. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Mm-hmm. Right. Everyone's tight on supplies. The Nexus is no exception. Yeah. You think it's the same as being exiled? Life outside the Nexus ain't exactly friendly. I can imagine. So why did you leave? Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. The Nexus needs you. I understand why you left. I don't. I don't understand nothing. It needs you. could have made a real difference on the Nexus. Staying under those conditions would have just resulted in another mutiny. Mm. We have a much better shot at something good out here. No. Can't argue with that. Your hand just clipped to the, you know, it clipped to the chair, but that's okay. This kitchen's tiny. But it's a spaceship. Right. Center. You meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in ass system. Oh, right. clever. Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. Really? He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. All right, well, I'm going to talk to you later, buddy. We can talk more later. But we probably hey. can't. Yeah? Don't call me kid, son. I don't love being called kid. <laughs> I'll try to stop doing that. Can't promise I won't slip up, though. Well, he's pretty nice to it. Trying to be aggressive here. Stop being so nice. Uh, anyway, it's nice to know there's an Avenger just chilling on the table there. But seriously, this is not the biggest kitchen. But at the same time, I don't don't really know how they could have made it much larger. Is this my bedroom then? These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Your cool. Quarters. Sam's router is down there too. Clothing and armor customization. Check the wardrobe in your quarters to change your casual outfit. Let's check it, guys. Jacket. 
Oh, looking good. Long sleeves, short sleeves, jacket. Let's go with the jacket. It's cold this time of year. You can customize the colors too. Oh yeah, well you know where I'm going. You know what I'm going with. Well, first of all, I need to spin up. Man, this color cut. Blah blah blah. This color customization sucks. The wheel. Why can't we at least, at the very least, like why can't you let us preset colors? Like, oh yeah, I like that color, so we're gonna preset it to this. It is now this, so, cause like they're not even gonna match now, cause I can't even. There we go. Armor customization. What? Auto tints. Custom tints. You can select patterns and everything? That's cool, I suppose. Yeah, sure, that one looks cool or whatever. I don't really care that much. They really, seriously, though, they need to let you, like, pre save a preset. So you don't have to keep doing the same thing every time. Keep like readjusting everything. So the rest of it's just gonna be black or whatever then. That's cool, I guess. Good enough to me. What color is, where's the pattern actually gonna change? Oh. Let's get more pink on here. Obviously. Alright. Boom. Good. Good to go. I wonder if you unlock more of that throughout the. Probably. Oh, cool little. Uh, that's a cool little thing there. D Space Explorer chest. Oh, okay. Never mind. I just. Email terminal. Wait, I already did this right. Uh, mark is red. You guys can pause and read it if you want to see what you want to see. I'll talk to Sam in a second. I want to go back to just explore this a little bit. What's this? Music? Oh, I'm okay. Let's keep it off. Go to the research station and unlock new projects. Did I actually... I thought it Never mind. It must have been something different. Cause I think I said it was like nomad colors or something. But like that was armor. So we go in here. We go to armor. We go to deep space explorer helmet. Oh, XP increase. That's cool. I'll take that. Oh, never mind. I'll, I'll do that stuff later. I'll equip it later or whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Sam here. Hello, Ryder. Hey, buddy. Leo's has been a lesson in contrast. Alec Ryder rarely endured doubt. His accomplishments were taken for granted, but you succeeded on Eos despite doubt. I didn't have no fear. doubt or fear, huh? Emotionally, the difference is like catching a ball versus catching a star. What? You have grown as a result, and so have I. Yeah. Uh, peace. Thanks, Sam. Once again, ain't nobody got time to get to know people and AIs and all of that crap. Alright, let's get the heck out of here, man. I'm sick of this stupid ship. I'm just kidding. The ship's pretty tight, but I'm sick of this. Get going. Let's do our little mission here. Onward! Uh-huh. Galaxy map. Use. And now we're heading to... I think we need to go back to the Nexus, right? Pretty sure that's, like, the next stop. Can you actually go to all these planets? I bet you can, but we ain't gonna do that today. Instead, we're gonna go to the Nexus. This is the Nexus, right? The Nexus is in Zhenghe. I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna be flying all the way over there for nothing. Boom. Yeah, my sound effects are accurate. Exactly. The Nexus has been here for months. Still not enough time to survey all. That's anomaly detected. I don't care about your anomaly. We're going to Nexus first. We'll explore that other stuff later. I need to do this deployment perks. Also, I really want to check out my brother. Make sure he's still not dead. 
I mean, he has to wake up at some point, right? Because I remember all the previews and stuff. All the trailers and stuff to this game. Your your twin definitely, like, is in some of the cutscenes and whatnot, as far as I can recall. So I'm assuming they eventually wake up. I just don't know how long it's going to be. Uh, is there, like, another option? You can activate the scanner here. Be like, oh, hey, uh, let's check out this layer. Anyway, docking bay. Oh, wow. Cool. So essentially this playthrough is pretty much just going to be, for the most part, it's just going to be like the main storyline. I'm probably not going to do a whole lot of extra activities for this Let's Play. And the reasoning is pretty simple. Like, I just don't want to have 300 episodes for the series. And maybe if like there are enough requests for certain things, I might come back after I beat the story and you know go explore a certain planet that people want to see or whatever if anybody actually has like an interest in that but for the sake of keeping the episodes down a little bit also for the sake of being able to get to other games and whatnot and I don't want to spoil every little that thing either We're settling Eos. we thought that before but Eos is different now right Pathfinder. all right settle down give him space Lieutenant Syax oh, can't throw his aid. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Just do my job. Ain't no partying here. They've got a Pathfinder again. This is what we do. And you've done it splendidly. Of course I have. Professor Herrick, right? What? What you achieved with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. Yes. There's more military personnel out of stasis. Those Ket won't get near your vault. Or our people. Uh... This proves our resilience. I don't want to compliment someone. Yeah, this one. We've taken some hard knocks, but this proves we'll always get up again. Yeah. yeah. Always. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. You're welcome, Professor. I know I'm pretty nice. All right. Well, I think this is where I'm gonna stop for today. So thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, if you like this, go ahead and press that like button, thumbs up. And give me a subscribe because I'm going to keep doing this for a little bit. And like I said, if there's anything you guys want to see specifically or anything like that, let me know before maybe I finish it completely. Um, or if you have any tips or advice or you know things that I'm not aware of just yet, just uh, leave leave a comment down there and let me know. But anyway, you guys have a wonderful, ta wonderful day and I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.